Plans for a high-level Pacific Islands forum mission to New Caledonia have become messy, with the French High Commission in Noumea and the local government at loggerheads over who should be organizing the visit and welcoming the delegation. New Caledonia's president now wants the mission to be deferred, while Paris is still prepared to receive the prime ministers of the Cook Islands, Tonga and Fiji. Louis Lewis has the latest. It was New Caledonia's President Louis Marple who originally requested the forum mission, but he's now withdrawn his blessing, accusing Paris of trying to hijack it to serve its own purposes and of humiliating Pacific leaders in the process. But a source close to the French president says they're pushing on with plans and have set up a committee for the visit. They've invited President Marple to join them in welcoming the leaders, but he's declined. The Pacific Islands Forum is yet to issue a statement on whether or not the trip is still on, but RNZ Pacific understands the mission has been postponed. Meanwhile, the president of New Caledonia's Congress, Rohuamitan, has accused Paris of stalling the territory's decolonisation process. It's now been more than three months since violence erupted in Noumea over proposed constitutional changes that would have enabled more non-Indigenous New Caledonians to vote in local body elections. Mr. Wamitan says the violence must end so a path forward can be charted. He spoke with Lydia Lewis, who started off by asking what the latest is on the Pacific mission. The arrival was very important because they were supposed to lead and uh, high-level investigation in order to find a sustainable conflict resolution for the crisis in Kanaki, New Caledonia. Unfortunately, this mission was postponed by the Pacific Island Forum because there is no consensus on the organization and the running of this event. The mission has to take place before the Pacific Island Summit on 26 August in Tonga. However, This will enable us to better prepare for this reception. What are your hopes for the future of Kanaki, New Caledonia? Firstly, we must be able to ease tensions to allow a return return to Cannes. Then we will be able to establish communication again to consider what comes next. That is to say, rebuilding our country, New Caledonia. Every crisis contains lessons. They must be taken into account for the future. The movement on the ground said two simple things. First, the Kanak people will never give up their independence. Inequalities are more and more many, despite all the agreements made and the public policy that have been decided. Based on this, we must rebuild, but certainly with a new vision of things. A lasting peace must be guaranteed, and for this we must understand once and for all that New Caledonia is not French. We are in a process of decolonization that the French state must bring to its conclusion. There is no other alternative. As a result, the French state must resume an impartial stance in the management of the decolonization process in New Caledonia. And Paris maintains that the third referendum, which was quite controversial, still stands. What is your response to that? We have not stopped saying it. The referendum of December 12, 2021 is illegitimate. The French state wanted to persist in recognizing it, even though the population's concern did not participate, that is, the Kanak people. And this is largely what led us to this situation of cow. I repeat, the method used by the French state has until today been disastrous. The French state must absolutely change its so war and respect past commitments and, in particular, led our country to its full emancipation and sovereignty. This referendum was boycotted by the Kanak people. We were mourning following the COVID epidemic because of the restrictions 
on gatherings due to the COVID, we were unable to carry out the traditional morning ceremonies. So we asked for a delay to allow time for family to mourn and for Kanak mourning customs to be respected. Pari maintained the third referendum stance, but 56% of voters abstained from voting. I think if more than half the electorate, electorate abstains, this means that the result of the referendum does not express the will of the majority of the population of New Caledonia. We are currently reaping the reward of refusing to postpone this referendum. Also, we warned that holding the referendum without the Kanak people would lead us straight to the wall. New Caledonia became a Pacific Islands Forum member in 2016 with the understanding that decolonisation would come. Has Paris stalled at all the sovereignty efforts? Yes, stay stalled. Is it due to the Macron's, President Macron's government partiality on the decolonisation process? By being partial, they make the democratic process unfair for indigenous people of uh, New Caledonia, Kanaki. They maintained the third referendum while we were undisposed because of the loss of life and mourning. By maintaining this referendum, President Macron seized the opportunity to maintain the referendum, knowing that the independentists would not participate and therefore knowing that the referendum would be in his favour. And the French ambassador to the Pacific clearly stated to RNZ Pacific that France will decide who enters New Caledonia, even though local government shares foreign policy responsibility. What message does Ms. Roger Lacan's words send? I think that uh, the ambassador used inappropriate words. She certainly ignored the evolutionary process that led to our current political organization with enhanced autonomy. Her comments were not appreciated because it amounts to telling local political leaders that it is France which is in charge. But in practice, this is not entirely true. I invite the ambassador to be careful about the language that she used, especially in the current cost context. It is a classic colonial stance. In theory, the law provides for this competence to be shared, but in practice, the interests of France take precedence over the interests of New Caledonia. Regarding to the Pacific Island Forum mission, New Caledonia is a member of this organization, and the government of New Caledonia took the initiative to invite PIF mission, but the French government want to control the subject and the object of this mission to instrumentalize their constituents into condemning the insurrection to discredit the demand for independence. independence. I find it unhealthy for a senior civil servant to welcome the Troika without the president of government. It will be the meaning to the function of our guests. What is your reaction to people still being held on mainland France? Yes, this recalls a time not so long ago when the French state deported prisoners, the Kanak prisoner, the chief prisoner, to French Polynesia, to Djibouti, to France, to Vietnam, etc. It also recalls the dark hours of uh, colonization when the Kanak people were headed into reserves and uh, had no rights. Such a decision had not been taken since uh, the Uvea tragedy in 1988. It is a decision which respects neither human rights nor the rights of defense, characteristic of neocolonial, neocolonial justice. This incomprehensible and disproportionate decision reinforce violence following this abuse arrest. The release of our political prisoners 
is a prerequisite for future discussions which must be initiated between the parties. What does your nephew's death mean to you and the wider pro-independence movement? For me, it is uh, unacceptable that the police should kill Kanak youth when they can do otherwise. My nephew was driven by a desire for independence and the circumstances of his death are still unclear to this day. What's your reaction to Sonia Bacchus's call for segregation? Our country aims to become a nation in the future. It is one. Our country is one. New Caledonia is one. Kanaki is one. Even if its current organization is made up of three provinces, these institutions are for the political desire for rebalancing. There was never, there was never any question of these provinces favoring any partition of the country. Mrs. Bakes fears losing the next election, election uh, uh, provincial elections, which is surely what pushed her to say such nonsense. The proposal will never succeed. In addition, the numerical already provided for mechanisms to prevent this kind of segregationist intent, such as the overall counting of votes rather than by province. Finally, we will do everything in our power to avoid partition of our country. And there's just been an election in France. What do the results and any potential and a potentially new prime minister mean for the future of New Caledonia? It is a decision of the President uh, Macron, of the, the President of the French Republic, to have dissolved the National Assembly within the framework of its prerogatives, political prerogatives. The new composition of uh, this assembly demonstrates, on the one hand, that the French has sanctioned the policy of the Macron government and, on the other hand, voted mainly for the left, left wing. Even, even if no political force can guarantee itself from having an absolute majority, it is necessary to underline the record participation of voters in this legislative election. In New Caledonia, the voters, despite the social and political context, allowed the election of a full independent member of French parliament, which has not happened since 1986. This is a very good thing for the future, and I hope that the nomination of the next national government will be in accordance with the results of the ballot boxes. We will have to consider the future in the coming months with new interlocutors from the French state, the new French government in the, uh, in the, week, uh, in the weeks coming. They will have to rise to the challenges and our local realities and no longer reproduce the same political error are the predecessors. The current situation is the anti responsibility of the French head of state and his former minister. These elections are plunging France into an absolute fog. We are hoping for the appointment of a, of a prime minister from the left wing majority. The appointment of a right wing prime minister will lead us to the wall again if that happens.